Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Akiba's trip. How about a debrief? Mido has something to tell you up on the rooftop. Today, we're going to see Mido. Alright, I'm on the rooftop. And Sorry I dress, to drag you up here. And I dress like a woman. Let's get down to brass tacks. I want you to take position in the park. Remember, we need the specimen alive. Do not finish it off. Whatever you do. Mr. Sejima and I will be on the assault team. We'll do our best to keep any reinforcements off your back. <sighs> One other thing. I can tell the freedom fighters aren't on board with this mission. I used to be the same way. The enemy looks human. The first time I saw one turn to ash, well, I looked almost as bad as he did. So I brought it up with Mr. Sejima. And he told me, those few of us who knew about the threat had to put aside our feelings and our private lives to fight it. He lives that example more than anyone. Always has. And when I saw that, I felt small. My job was so much easier than his. I felt like I'd been seeing things the way a child would. And I knew it was time to grow up. I'd had plenty of time to think it over before I resigned from the force. When I took the plunge and became an agent, I signed on for everything that came with that. I can work through my feelings once the job's done. Till then, I'll handle things the way he does. That's what I told myself at the time. A lot's happened since then, but in all sincerity, I still believe it. I signed on before the shut-in project began. They had me traveling all over, putting out smaller fires. And I saw the beginnings of the project. Young people having their futures stolen one by one. You know what happens when they feed, what it does to the victims. It cripples their bodies and their minds. They can't even go outside anymore. They had their whole lives ahead of them, and now that's gone. All of it. If that's not evil, what is? Even one more victim is unacceptable. We need to stop them, no matter what. <sighs> Hopefully at some point, the Freedom Fighters can talk with Mr. Sejima the way I did. Unfortunately, I don't think we have time for that right now. Pardon me, I'm just rambling on about myself. I do that when I'm nervous, especially in times like this. Just gushing out all your feelings can help you sort them out sometimes, you know? <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're sweet. Oh, this may sound awkward, but I really do appreciate having you here as a fighter and a friend. Now then. Please take your station at the park. One other thing to keep in mind. This could theoretically help us find a cure for your friend. Let's do it. Okay. Now we are going to the park, apparently. We failed the Kansas in Missouri. A number of Shadow Souls bar got and she made it big for a doing dotation. Our surveillance team believes she's heading up for Honey Park. Keep your guard up. We can't as soon as possible. Oh boy, we're gonna get started now. She actually got out. You can't expect me to capture. Here she comes. <sighs> it's you. Hi. <gasps> no way. What? You surprised the way I dress? I know. Kind of awkward, right? Y you can't be. Can you? You promised to help. Sara said you were okay, and and Rui trusted you too. Go on, I'll let you go. Uh, okay, thanks so much. Rui was right about you. Just like she said, you're. Never mind, I'll go. Just go. Have you seen the target? No. She must have gone indoors. Reroute the surveillance around this area. I'll go on searching here myself. Yes, sir. The mission to catch a failed. <gasps> That could have gone better. Akihabara is not as tight as we thought. There must be other routes we don't know about. All that prep work and she just slipped right on past us. Don't worry about it. She only ran in the first place because we didn't get her on the first strike. We did catch her henchmen, so at least that's something. Either way, we should be fine for now. I'll be in touch. Until then, try to rest up. Okay. So, that's fine. I took the money. That's hilarious. I got an email. Oh, okay. Day with. <gasps> I'm going on a date. Excuse me. 
Every time I send an email, it's always because of something like this. I heard about that happens with Susie. She was in danger, but you're safer. My sisters are so the ones who were watching me are gone. On one hand, you were my pizza and sense, but on the other hand, my friend is safe. So thank you, Jemai Senpai. As a whole, my people are in chaos now. The women may have told you already, but my mother's coming to you to Alcala. Everyone's in a panic, especially my uncle. And meanwhile, Doge is preparing for war. Thanks to that, no one has the time to watch that moment, but I do accept Doge to last, especially now that my mother gets sealed. Much has transpired since you defeated my sister. The shutdown part is on definite hold now. If they happen to revive it, it won't be the same. Because of that, my people might have moved away from Akaba. In the case, I decided to stay with other Inca, my friends and close family. Even in the means, I must face the mother myself. I don't wish to leave this wonderful city. That was my time before they began watching us. When Susie and I went out into the streets, simply to enjoy ourselves, like everyone else in the crowd. And then, well, it's the last joy. What I'm driving about is I want to stay, and I may have to ask if I can help me do so. Actually, there's quite a bit I'd like to speak about. I like to take you in person from the start, as I may have a chance once mother or wife. What do you say? I'll be in the Buddha. I hope you do come see me. The date with Rui. Are we really going on a date? Yeah, I know. I'm like, why are you waiting down a date? Well, <laughs> we could play with each other. That's what you want. You came. Yes, I did. I had a feeling you wouldn't under the circumstances. I'm glad I waited. Uh, I had so much I wanted to speak with you about, but for some reason, as soon as I saw you, it all went blank. Um, why don't you speak first while I try to remember? Did you have anything you wanted to ask me? Okay. Uh, is Susie okay? She's recuperating at the hideout. The agents wounded her in the chase, but being a shadow soul, she'll recover quickly. Not quite as quickly as my sisters or I would, but as the wound isn't fatal, she'll be fine. When I told her I might meet you today, she insisted on joining us. But I, in turn, insisted that she stay in bed. Her injuries aside, you and I can say more together in private. Private? Any other questions for me? Okay. Uh, what about Mother Soul? Do you want to know about Mother? Hmm. We don't think of our mothers the way humans do, but I'd say she and I are closer than my brothers and sisters are. As the leader of our society, my mother upholds its traditions, which is why she fostered my siblings out to other Shadow Souls as soon as they were born. Incidentally, my uncle was one of those other Shadow Souls. My kind being what we are, we have a reason for that particular tradition. This may unsettle you. Okay. The unofficial rule, as I've heard it, is a child in the home means no more in the belly. Hmm, make a face. I did warn you, truly. There was a time when we had to breed continuously for the race to thrive. That time is long past. Now that I recall, my uncle once put it to me differently. To keep calm in the house and order in the bloodlines, he said. Hmm, what else? Well, mother chose to raise me herself. She gave me her milk. That was what marked me as the next mother soul. I never learned all the details, but among our kind, a mother's milk is very much like blood. So, in a sense, she fed me the way I fed you. From her, I gained what was needed to take her place one day. Though, again, I have much yet to learn. Any human might have mistaken us for an ordinary mother and daughter. But on that subject... It's all rather foggy to me, but I do seem to remember having a father once. Not a shadow soul, mind you. A human. The few memories I seem to have of him are happy ones. In fact, now that I think back, you remind me of him. Really? I'm joking, of course. I scarcely remember him at all. If you did resemble him, I wouldn't know. But being near you does give me a familiar feeling of being safe and cared for. Perhaps you do remind me of him, in a way. And in that way only, mind you. Hmm. Where is he now? I wish I knew. Alive somewhere, I believe. I've heard he was a normal human. Perhaps he's still living a normal life. I've also heard he's the reason Mother hates all humans now, but I have no more to say about that. Since the two of us have a bit of leisure time, would you accompany me on an outing? I mentioned before that Suzu and I have explored Akihabara together, masquerading as humans, of course. We might shop or eat now and again, for curiosity's sake, but never simply for pleasure. Until Mother brought me here. She'd never let me out of her sight at all. Humans were too dangerous, she said. And my uncle gave me an allowance and loosened my leash, so to speak. I planned my routes carefully, I stayed away from agents, and all was well. Now then, agent, would you care to join me? 
Yeah. Splendid. I suggest Northeast Main Street. Okay. Want a date? Oh, this would be so good. The arcade. Here we are. Huh? What's wrong? This place is the talk of the town, you know. The games do take money, but there is such a wondrous variety of them. Have you been here before? Mm, yeah. Quite enjoyable, is it not? Had I known of this place sooner, I'd have come here much more often. Are we having fun? <gasps> oh, we are. I recommend Samurai Kitchen. It is a fighting game, if you're familiar with the term. It's most amusing. Would you like to play around? Yeah, I'm playing this. Samurai Kitchen. Oh, look at that. Inside. So look at Kalita. Who am I being? Uh, <laughs> oh, one of those two. Uh, I'll just pick this one. And I'm selecting. I guess we're playing this already. You ready? Ready. What? Uh. Huh. Come here. Yeah. What is this, playing Street Fighter or playing Bleach? What is this game? Oh! Jump up! Slice away! Okay, they were out. Oh, that's a powerful strike! Yeah, fuck you! Round two! Hey, I'm getting close to you! Am I playing Bleach? Hey, hey, hey! I didn't say back off! That's bouncing. Damn, this is like easy mom doing. Ready. Come here. You said cook? You stab yourself? The hell was that? Why did you cut yourself? That's kind of weird. What? What? One more. What? Okay, for every other one. So I can't see anything else but this place. Okay. Ready? What if you kick my ass? Oh, I don't think I might have. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Revenge, bitch! You're not going to get me this? Oh, boy, I'm going slow on this one. Ready? I got you this time! Nah. -uh. Yeah, that's right. Damn, you have more cards than I do. I am trying. Second time. Okay, she wants to be with this time. That's cool. You come this way? Yeah, then you cook this time. Hey, look at me. I'm kicking your ass this time. Cave and block. Nope. Hey, look at that. That's a good game. It's a game my ass all the time. Okay, let's do it again. Nope. Ugh. Get up, bitch. Again? Jump away! Ooh, again? Okay! Now you're done. You're done! Yui! Yui! <laughs> oh, come on! I can kick my ass again! Yeah, again. I will not lose this time. Uh-huh. If this is a mini game, that'd be cool. Gonna do it again. Strike off. This way. Ow, my leg! Oh, shit! Sorry! I won! With a different character. Huh? Uh, one more. Oh, boy. Are you serious? My good. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sit back and let you kick my ass. See what happens. You ready? Ready. That's the dustbin. Go ahead. Attack me. Attack me. I'll stay right here until we win. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Uh, I give. Huh? 
<laughs> yeah, I smell the 200 yen. I have a lot of money. That's okay. Phew. Now that was a match for the ages. Oh, how are you at that game? Hmm. You mean the crane game? Yes, that one. Suzu and I did our best last time, but nothing came of it. Let me see. Oh, I do like that box. Here, I'll move the crane, and you look in from the side and tell me when to drop it. I'm counting on you. And so it begins. Uh, it looks straight on my side. All right. Hmm. Uh, give it a tiny little nudge. Yes, that prize is as good as mine. Uh, unfortunate. All right, one more. And so it begins. Uh, it looks straight on. All right. Okay, keep going. I have you now. Uh, go, go. Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, we've got it. It must be my blood in you. It's given us the power of synergy. Suzu tends to hesitate, so she's no good at this sort of game. But with you at my side, I can do anything. Shall we go for one more? Uh, that's Jay. I like the way you think. We play nothing but crane games after that. Expensive crane games. 30,000. Ooh. What should we do next? I suppose it's too early for a meal. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay. Uh, about the Freedom Fighters. Ah, the people who came rushing in after you. Sara has regaled me with a few of their stories, but never gone into much detail. They must be a lively group. Uh, um, might I meet them someday? The way you describe them, I feel I simply must. Of course, I already know Sara, and I have met Mr. Yatabe. He's an affable fellow. If I can make conversation with you, then perhaps I can do the same with others. Or so I would like to believe. Uh, Wishful thinking, perhaps. I know it uh, could go wrong. Uh, even so, what do you think? Hmm. Okay, next place. Oh, hey! Welcome back. What's up? The agents? They're not here right now. Yeah. Ever since the capture operation, we haven't heard a peep out of them. Except to say the mission was over. That was it. I'm sure they're just preoccupied with a mother soul, wasn't it? Maybe. I don't know. Seems like they should have called by now. Is something the matter, Master? Yeah. You got something on your mind? No worries. Lay it on me. That's what I'm here for, right? Which H game are you having trouble in? No. Uh, it's not an H game. Ah. Okay, Mr. Yatabe, turning this one over to you. Too far outside my wheelhouse. You really need to do more with your life. Hey, I'm just trying to level up, all right? May I please come in? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, am I uh, too early? Uh, uh, isn't she that one shadow soul? The one who made you drink her blood? Oh, oh man. This is bad. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> I think she's got me cornered! She's a family member, too? We're screwed. Uh, how should I explain this? What's the meaning of this? Why would you bring her here of all places at a time like this? Here of all places? Please excuse my rudeness. I got carried away. Forgive me. But what is this? Is she gonna turn us into Shadow Souls? Or shut-ins? She's gonna drink our blood! I'll do nothing of the kind. Please, don't be afraid. Where should we start? Master? Dude. Dude. I know about it, and so... What? You can trust her. You'll be okay. I tell her when father is everything. So you have to go gone and chime in along the way. Oh, I see. So that's what's been going on. And sorry, you even... I'm terribly sorry. I had no other choice but to keep it a secret. I was afraid of dragging you all into it. I can see where you're coming from, Sara. I felt the same way, keeping quiet about Chief. Yeah, even I ended up getting in the way. We should all be in this together. Cards on the table. Yeah, then at least we won't have to worry about keeping secrets from each other. It must have been hard for you, Sara. Fairly, yes. If you told us sooner, we could have done more to help you. And the, uh, what are they again? The end something? The enlightened, Mr. Yatabe. Ah, right, right. If the Enlightened really do want to live here in peace, and even if they are Shadow Souls, they're not much different from us. 
This isn't right. Master Nobu. Oh, uh, well, we might be working with the agents, but we're not working for them. We built the Freedom Fighters to foster love and peace in this town. And if the Enlightened can win over the rest of the Shadow Souls, there'll be no more reason to fight them at all. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I deserve Shadow Soul and... Something? What? Nobu? You're right. Please forgive my intrusion. When I met the three of you before, all willing to hear me out, I let my optimism get the best of me. But others despise us as you do, sir. We are monsters to you. And I, a particularly rude monster. In fact, if the agents see me here with you, they might take you for accomplices of mine. Mr. Sprui. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was selfish of me to come here. Please forget you ever saw me. No, stay. Thank you for your kind words, Mr. Yatabe. Perhaps in time. That's not what I'm talking about either. Huh? Um, what are you talking about, Nobu? I, I said I deserve to meet a Shadow Soul too. What? Um. What? I mean, I get what happened with him, but then oh, turns out Sara's friends with her too. Mr. Yatabe's cafe manager friend is a Shadow Soul top dog, and on top of that. He knows Sara's new best friend! Cone had his whole adventure with the two idol girls. So how have I been out of the loop this whole time? When's my turn? <sighs> Did I just not trigger the right flag or what? I could get the 100% event CG in every H game I own. Except for the ones with the stupid bugs. I'm right there at the front of the line every time they have a big release event around here. <gasps> Maybe a bunch of devs got into a meeting room someplace and they said, Oh, we're out of time. Let's cut Nobu's chapter. Or, oh, Nobu's chapter would get us an adult rating. Let's cut Nobu's chapter. Screw Nobu. Jeez, it could have been any of those. Do you know what he's talking about? Please pay no attention to him. He has a terrible habit of confusing games with reality. Is that normal among humans? Yeah. It's like his particular defining. I see it. I understand. There are so many different kinds of humans, aren't there? So, does all that mean you're okay with her, Nobu? Oh, yeah, of course. She wants to stop the bad guys and not hurt people. Cool. Besides, Shadow Soul or not, 3D or not, if they love Akihabara, you gotta welcome them with open arms, right? Just like Mr. Yatabe said, we're not agents. We're the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Um, Nobu, was it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure. What the... I just go gaga for a 3D person? <laughs> Can't be. This is me we're talking about. Wait a minute. Hey, is it okay if I ask you something? Be my guest. Are Shadow Souls, like, ageless or anything? Not exactly. We do age, but not as quickly as humans do. Mother was born well before the war, but a human would take her for no more than 40. Before the war, eh? To look so young at her age, that's astonishing. So then, what about Gon's idols? How old are your sisters? That's rude, Master Nobu. Well, there. What age? Hold it right there! Gon? Age doesn't matter for idols. It doesn't matter at all. They're just these wonderful, perfect beings that give us all hopes and dreams and... They're shadow souls, remember? That just proves their age doesn't matter. <sighs> What do you mean, dude? My sisters were born after the war. After the war? We are still after the war, right? As long as we were born after 1945. Thank you, Rui. We're fine now. All good. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, we're fine. Also, asking about a lady's age is highly inappropriate. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Did you know that? Well, look at me. After the war? So they could be like grannies, but they look like they're teenagers. Ugh. That's the trouble with 3D. It's too unrealistic. Guess 3 d still got a long way to go before it catches up with 2D. Yep. I still know what's what. Time to bring up the elephant in the room. Yes. Huh? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Outside of Nobu and Gon, we've all been in contact with the Enlightened, and two of us are already supporting while keeping it a secret from the agents. 
its agents were also supporting it. I think it's time we all got off the fence. Any longer and it might be too late. Yes, I think you're right. Of course, our own loyalty is to those who love Akihabara. That's where the issue lies. Um, what do you mean? Suppose the agents walked in right now and asked us to turn over Mistress Rui. That's what he means. Oh, I get it. That is tough. I don't think the agents are going to give the Enlightened a pass. Are they? They say they're chasing shadow souls for the sake of the country and humanity. If that's true, and the Enlightened aren't a threat, could the agents be convinced to leave them alone? We could ask them. But if we did and they said no... If it were me, I'd say yes. Then I'd organize a peace talk, get them all in one place, and take them out. Yeah. To add to that, if they find out we've been helping shadow souls behind their backs, What'll they do? Uh, the agents might not care whether they're enlightened or not. They might see us as accessories, or worse, they seem to have some pull with public organizations. Could they undermine our jobs if they wanted to? I don't doubt it. Nor do I doubt they'd have other means of pressuring us. And even though you knew that, you still... I knew they might find me out, but I intended to take the heat for all of us. You were truly that selfless? Sara, pay it no mind. I do what I believe is right. Nothing more. Sara. Uh, um, anyway. Sounds like we've got a big decision here. Yep, yep. Let's think it over while we watch this IT Witch Maria Blu-ray eye. I... No. Try to stay in reality, please. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Don't right. This is a heck of a decision for all of us. Sorry. No, no. No need to apologize. This is our business, too. We didn't become the Akiba Freedom Fighters as a fun little hobby, after all. We want the same thing you want. The question is, what are we prepared to do about it? And it's time to come up with an answer. <sighs> I mean, nicely put, but it's still hard. Yes, I was hoping a rousing speech would make it easier, but no. <laughs> Please, all of you. Sorry. Man, is Sora a maid or a drill sergeant? Right? All right, down to earth. Let's think about this realistically. I've had a thought in my head since I found out Chief was a shadow soul. I personally want to help him, but the Freedom Fighters have already sided with the agents. So what's the solution? I thought about it, and I did come up with one. Mm -hmm. Well, what is it? I'm going to disband the Akiba Freedom Fighters. What? what? Yeah, same! What up? I see. Hey, hold on a sec, Mr. Yatabe. What are you talking about? Yeah, we were just getting all close and family-like around here. You're right, and it's not ideal at all. But think, we call ourselves freedom fighters, but who are we, really? Just a bunch of friends who love this town. We happen to get together and form a club about it, but if that club were to cease to exist, no one else would miss it including the agents. They might make us sign an NDA, but that'd be the extent of it. Once we disband, we'll be free. Any one of us can choose to help the Enlightened or the agents. Well, okay, maybe, but... If we stay on the agents' radar and help the Enlightened, they'll catch on sooner or later. Once they do, they'll already know who and where we are. They could use us as bait to lure out Rui and the others, to name just one example. But if we show them we've naturally disbanded, they'll lose interest in all of us. Is that our only move? Uh, hmm? Please, continue to be freedom fighters. <sighs> I understand now how much trouble we truly are to you. <sighs> and I would never ask you to help us at the cost of your own friendships. Mm -hmm. Besides, this is our battle. It's between my kind and the agents. None of you should ever have been involved. I was wrong to let you indulge me. I know that all too well now. So, um, please, stay freedom fighters together. Aww. We'll take care of ourselves. We'll find a way. Sara, thank you both for everything. I won't... Mistress Rui, wait, please. At first, I thought only of befriending you all. I came here without a care. But, well... At least my cares will no longer be yours. You really don't have to worry about us. About the Freedom Fighters. Do not disband. I will not allow it. Your bonds beyond blood. They're wonderful to me. I could never break such things, nor let them break on my account. Is that why you saved him? Because he stood up for his friend? Yes. Shadow Souls will always obey the blood. But humans are different. He showed his humanity that night. I love to see that in people. I wish I could do the same. I... 
Hmm. What's the word I'm looking for? Aspiration? Ah, yes, that's it. I aspire to it. All I was ever raised to be was mother's heir. My followers revered me for that. My siblings hated me for it. And I had no other relationships at all. But for humans, no two relationships are the same. I always envied that in you. I'm sorry. Listen to me prattle on. I'm sure none of this makes sense to anyone here. It's just that I don't want your relationships to suffer because of me. So... Hmm. Well, Gorn? Nobu? What do you think about all that? Yeah. Let's disband. Seconded. Seriously. If a girl cares that much, I'll do anything to help. Same. Do you feel the same, Sara? Yes. Then we all agree. The Akiba Freedom Fighters are now disbanded. Wait one minute! That's... Please, Mistress Rui, listen. Friendship is not confined to a place. Or to the name of a group. Our bonds are more than physical ties. And can't be cut so easily. <sighs> it is a bit sad to lose our favorite gathering spot. Yeah. We made a great place to leave our stuff when we had to go out. Although that stuff did pile up pretty quick. Yes, and some of that stuff was... Was what? Never mind. Wait a moment, though. I... Don't worry. We used to just hang out on the street. We'll just go back to that. Plus, Sara and Mr. Yathabe still have their shops, so yeah. We'll see each other. This whole town is our base. Not just one building. There's always cool stuff happening. You'll always see someone you know there. That's how I see it. Yep, yep. That's what this town's like for us. You think so too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Master Yatabe, you've had that smile on your face for a while now. Oh, have I? Are you hiding something? <gasps> Is it that obvious? I'm a maid. Reading people helps me see what they want. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. I'll just spill it then. To tell you all the truth. I've been working on a second base. Ooh. Really? I have a side job in real estate, and I found a good spot. Wow, Miss Yatabe, I didn't know you did that. Yes, it makes sense. There's not a lot of money in junk these days. I let other people handle most of the details, but I manage a few properties, including this one. But the Freedom Fighters are still disbanding, right? Yes, technically, the Freedom Fighters are. So that's what you mean. You're a sly one, Master Yatabe. Oh, come now. Well, I was going to mention it sooner, but we got a bit sidetracked. What does all that mean, precisely? Simply put, we're moving to a new spot and changing our name. So, like a politician landing some big-shot corporate job, but it's okay this time because it's us doing it. Once we've done that, we'll have effectively cut our ties with the agents. After that, we can all sit down and plan our next move. Just when I finish touching up the place. How unfortunate. Are you planning on opening another cafe here? One of my dreams is to fill every inch of the city with made cafes. So yes. Is that a dream or an obsession? A maid trying to take over Akihabara. Sounds like an H game to me. Hey, Gone though, you sure you want to be on Team Enlightened? Huh? I mean, those twins of yours aren't on that team, right? Oh, um, Miss Rui? Is there any chance DBP might come around? I highly doubt that will ever happen. Both of them are quite loyal to Mother. Unless she changes, they never will. Hmm. Um, guess it'd look pretty bad if I ran off to join the Shadow Souls, huh? Yeah, that would be a strain on her friendship, I think. Their whole shut-in project is about hurting people so they can't enjoy this town anymore. And even if the victims can't feel it anymore, that sucks. Yeah, I'll just keep that in mind then. My goodness. <laughs> well, it looks like we have our sights set on what to do next. So, Miss Rui, it'll be a pleasure to continue working with you. Yes, likewise. We may indeed be a burden at times, but we welcome you. Suzu and my uncle will be just as happy, I'm sure. <sighs> Thank you for bringing me here. I hadn't expected all this. I only wanted to be friends. I was being selfish. Even my wish for peace in the city was selfish. It's fine. People in this town can be selfish sometimes. Anything that's helped the town grow. Sometimes greed is good for that. Here, here. <laughs> <laughs> Master, Mistress Rui, is something the matter? No, it's too soon. Mother's already here. Might as well miss Smido. The agents trying to get a hold of you. Yeah. And that was my sister just now. What? What did you say? Chill out, Goon. I see. The rest of us should get ready for the move. You two be careful. Yes. 
Please take care. Of course. I'd like to visit you again later. No problem. Yeah. Then we can get the inside scoop on DBP. All right. Let's be off. Got it. Oh, boy. Listen. Thank you for everything today. Hmm. What this all of a sudden? First, you met with me when I asked, and then when I asked to meet your friends, you said yes. Thank you for indulging all my selfish requests. I never dreamed any of this could happen. Even now, it feels like an actual dream. When I was there, laughing with everyone, it felt like they were tickling my heart. It felt so wonderful. I was so happy. It was fun. I wanted that moment to last forever. Could it? Could it be like that every day? If my kind could all live here in peace? Mm. Mm, who knows? How cruel. I jest, of course. Mm. We are friends, aren't we? Yeah. If I were in danger, would you save me? Hmm. Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you. And I would do the same for you. All right. I'm going this way. Take care. What about a hug? Okay, I'm gonna go more and that's it. We're hoping to catch Melissa on the other way here, but she's will go in the lud. Arita says she's bought a train for Akaba. I'll be a spot for a short while. But afterward, I want to meet you in front of the station. In the meantime, if you can't cross any internet about the Silly stuff, please contact me immediately. Also... Oh, and this is also suddenly related. The Shadow Souls has been stepping up. Okay, town. Keep your goal up uh, build anything. It will walk soon. I'm alive. Hi. We're in a rush, so I'll keep this short. Check your email for the details. Mother Soul is en route. That's officially confirmed. At the moment, Mr. Sejima and the elite agents are. Ah! Oh. Oh, this is bad. At a time like this. This is the time. I'm going to need your help. That man is a bloodline demon. We need to take them all out immediately. Easier said than done, I know, but if Mother Soul shows up now. Don't worry. You and I can do this together. Get ready. <sighs> Mr. Sejima, good to have you here. We can... Mr. Sejima? Miss Mio, both of you, follow me. No time for distractions. Oh, what? But, wait. If you're here, that means... That man. What is it? He's got the blood in him. What? Come on, Miss Mio. Yes, sir. Us at all. He played us this whole time. Yeah, he did. Yes? She's here. Mother is here in Akihabara. We're Mother Soul's blood relatives. We're still distractions now. Although, if they knew who Rui was, it might be a different story. Suzu. Oh, sorry. Those aren't the only agents. There's a whole lot more of them in hiding. What? Don't worry. They're all watching the station exit. Right now, we're just a couple of bugs outside the net. I can't see them having an all-out war right here in broad daylight. But it's still a possibility. Let's go, Susan. Okay. Be careful. You too. No matter what happens, don't drop your guard. Take care of her. Okay. I saw a nude. Well, I see, I'm, so, I'm still aging. Why would I say that? That's the mother? What the idols? Thank you for the welcome, Nairo dogs. Oh, that's the mom. Okay. Dogs. Don't, don't you mock us, you monster. It's been a while. Indeed. And yet some things never change. You haven't changed. And you have hardly aged a day. Still taking my followers' blood, are you? In moderation, of course. Too much of it, you know what could happen. Yes. I'm surprised you're not already one of us. <laughs> How many years ago did we first meet? I don't even recall. You were in... Was it the Cabinet Information Research Office? Or the Joint Staff Council Secretariat? Doesn't matter. It was all just a shell game. Good lord, we've known each other. <laughs> Truly. I can hardly keep it straight anymore. But did you have to invite this many people to our private moment? They're all around us. Trying to hide. Probably the same group that went after us before. Right. I knew that. Don't make me look stupid in front of Mom. Well, then try to be a little more careful, okay? Okay. Why are they here? 
Are these the new kids I've been hearing about? Wait! It's those two idols! No! It couldn't be. We saw their posters all over town every day and never even noticed them? Huh? Wait. Our cover wasn't blown? That's strange. That agent clearly knew who we were, unless he wasn't actually an agent. Uh -huh. So what's your plan, Director? Start a fight in a place like this. It's not as if we're outnumbered, you know. My bodyguards are all around us. Is it time to drag us out of the shadows, then? I don't think either of us wants that. I'm only here to talk. I'm sure you won't mind a few questions. Brief questions, if you'd be so kind. Mom, let us handle this. It's fine. Let the adults talk, won't you? I'm sure you've noticed we've turned up the heat up here. But you still came all the way out here to occupy her. In plain sight. You risked everything without your sightseeing. I came to see my daughters. I thought humans understood that. It's something called parental love. Don't say that like you know what it means, monster. She pisses me off. You do. Let's kill her later. Second question. What exactly is this ridiculous project that you are supposed to accomplish? And you've been hunted. You should have been cowering in the dark this whole time. Instead, you made yourself a deep just to keep the project running. Haven't all those poor captives of yours told you anything? No. Then who am I to speak for them? I want to hear it from you. You and I never did very much talking. We were never very good at it, were we? Maybe not. But you always were a sharp one. So again, why risk everything to prop up a failing project? You must have another reason. Anyone can see that. <gasps> oh, who knows why I do anything? Are we finished here? Thank you for the welcome, but I'm afraid that's all the time I have. One more question first. We know your heir is overseeing the project, so it has to be one of those two. <laughs> that's right. What are you getting at? Mom? I see. So that's it. Never mind. It's just good to meet them finally. I'd suspected they might be involved. And now I know- You don't know shit! Yo! What?! There was one more, wasn't there? Ah, I missed! You! What are you doing? Don't act out in front of Mom! Act out? I'm doing her a favor. Mom, sis, if it's down to this, we're here for it. Wait. It'll be chaos if we do this here and now. I'd really rather not. But, Mana, listen to Mom. Okay. You said I don't know. So they're not the heirs. Who is? Who's the next mother soul? Answer me. You? Bite your tongue and stand down. No! He's gonna die right here. Might as well tell him first. Stop! She's right behind you. Foolish child. Rui Fumizuki. So it was you all along. <gasps> and here I thought you were just the annoying little sister. I see. Now it all makes sense. You kept the real leader a secret from everyone, including your own followers. You anticipated we'd capture and question them. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. We are the real leaders. We're older than she is. We're stronger. That's why. Yeah, she's just dead weight. I don't know about that. Hey, dead shit! I'm right here! Shut your mouth. Die! <laughs> Fuck, he's strong! So foolish. Why are you just standing there? Apprehend Rui Fumizuki now, but don't you dare kill her. For I promise I will kill you. Uh, you sure you want to do this here? Why not? If we can grab Mother Soul and the air in one swoop, let's go ahead and cause the ruckus. Doesn't matter now. You get Rui. Leave the rest to me. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Thank you for all the help you've given Rui. I know everything you've done for her. You risked your life to protect her. You even listened to her troubles as her mother. Let me thank you for that. What? What's the meaning of this? How did you find out? Your brother cares for you more than you know. No! Mom told me to watch you guys. What was I gonna say, no? But how? We sell all kinds of junk in this town. Like these tiny little microphones. That is simply wrong! I wasn't peeping on you, sis. I just passed it on to Mom. I was concerned for you, dear. My time with him was... it was private. But you moved, kid. Treason's a capital crime. If you take her in now, I'll 
forget it ever happened. The charges won't even go on record. You were new to this. You were confused. But you can still make it right. I wouldn't listen if I were you. He'll do anything to get what he wants. No matter how repulsive. He treats his own kind like trash. I don't dare imagine what he'd do to a traitor. Come. Come with us. What? Mom? Re remember the part where you tried to kill us? Yes. And he almost succeeded. Ugh. I'm not blaming you, girls. No harm done. Let's all just forgive and forget. Do I make myself clear? If you say, say so, so, Mom. You see? We're much more tolerant than his kind. Now you and Rui come with me, and let's properly welcome you as one of us. You heard me, Rui. Chop chop. <sighs> no, Mother. I'm going to live on my own, here in town. I am in no mood to argue with a selfish little girl. You and your so-called enlightenment. I'm not selfish. Now that Nairo knows you're my heir, they'll be after you with all guns blazing. You think you and your little splinter group can hold them off by yourselves? Uh, I'm open to suggestions. At once, if you please. Hey! Hmm. Stick with me and I'll... Ah. Hmm. What the... Nothing! Why do I say that? Stick with you, you and his town. Okay. Wait, are we kissing? Oh, we're hugging. Never mind. What utter foolishness. So I know they're fake bulls, but still! For once, we agree. So it seems. <laughs> Squad 5, kill the kid and capture the air. Everyone else, clean up duty. Miss Mito, quit napping and get to work. D4, kill him and retrieve Rui. The rest of you hold off Nairo. Senna, Mana, you, with me. Get him! Okay, now we are gonna fight. Oh, we got a one. Okay, what a funny plot to went through. Time to what? Seriously? Look to the squad, damn. Enough. Let's go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch! Whoa, you help me! I'll get my ass kicked! With a wig, anyways. Most of these. You may be weak. I don't give a fuck. Put this on. Hey, you next. You want some? How do I know it's your way? Oh, be careful. Ooh, keep swing, keep swing. Now this battle's going to war. Hey, look, your clothes are off. Yeah, fuck your clothes. Hey, you want some mix? Oh, I gotta watch out. You're touching me. Uh oh. Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, my shots. That's what you shot the wheel. I'm not letting you touch them. Not letting you. I'll keep this off and whip this off. Oh, I wasn't too. Hey, are you on my team? I hope you are. Hey! Wait, what? Oh, come on! You wearing a helmet too? Your helmet? Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh, we're done. I was about to say. Mother's bodyguards, be careful. They're strong. She handpicked her finest followers and trained them herself. Uh oh, thanks for the info. Okay, am I fine now? Oh, oh, oh. Let me get up. Oh, I'm getting double team. That's a nightmare. Ah! Woo! Let me move this way, if you don't mind. I have to blink first. Because you're number one weakness. Are you serious, bro? Oh my goodness. My game jumped! Give me your pants! Go ahead! Give me your shirt! And give me your pants! You! Oh, no, you're just saying there. Like an idiot! Nah. -uh. Nope. Nah! -uh. That's why! I kicked your ass! Still more to go? Hey! We'll handle this. Both of you, over here. 
Mr. Yatame, why are you? Just hurry. Come, You're come, come. Both of us. Go, you two. It's no use. They're still going to catch us. Hmm. Uh, no, 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 we can trust them. Oh, don't worry, Miss Rui. You know how much of a maze this town can be. Plus, it's our own backyard. Isn't that right? Yeah, we're gonna give anyone to slip you. <laughs> Alright, I'll take your word for it. Go to the location on this memo. Is this? Our new secret base. The other freedom fighters are already on their way there. <sighs> I'll run the other way and buy you some time. We'll meet up later. Now go. Right. Yeah, one. Okay. Oh boy, what a battle we just went through. What is this place? You two, just, you two are just staring at each other. Are you looking respectfully? I hope you are. We have a new arrival. Halt! No one gets by unless they answer this question. Hmm? What's going on? New place? New security protocols. Alright, here we go. What? IT witch Maria. Who voices Maria? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I believe it's this one. Sure, but where's she from? Hmm. Really, Tokyo? You're an imposter trying to imitate his voice, aren't you? The Are you real serious? guy? He could have talked about Yatahara all night. Cause he's a fan. There's no way he couldn't answer a simple question like that. Master Nobu, could you please restrain yourself for this one moment? What? This is how we tell friend or foe. Plus, it's a great way to boost my friendship stats. So, oh. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're in either way, so. Welcome back. Master and mistress. Just doing my duty as a fan. No, you're not. Oh, you forgot to close the door. Huh? Oh, well, was that bad? It's all right. So, what did you see? Well, you're lucky I packed a telescopic lens today for one thing. Meaning... After you two went out, we received a call from Chief. He was worried that the situation might escalate. So he asked us to keep an eye on you. Huh? Then Mr. Yatabe told us it'd be fine no matter what happened. That's when we panicked. Sara and I carried what we could to the new base and tried to get it ready. Mr. Yatabe went out to notify you two. And I, um... I guess I did some scouting. Yeah, recon. Let's go with that. Anyway, I took pictures of all the usual suspects. Could come in handy, right? Nice work. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Uncle! Suzu! Thank goodness, you're safe! Yeah. Everyone's accounted for. Well, I haven't run that hard in a while. It's all coming back to me, though. Oh, FYI, uh, please turn off your cell phones. This feels like it's getting real. It's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is getting crazy around here, isn't it? Welcome back, everyone. Oh, boy. The gang. Well, who sit down? On the ground? Let's take stock of the situation. You and Ms. Rui, why don't you go first? Okay. I see what happens in front of the station. So maybe Nairo isn't what we thought it was. All right, Gon, your turn. I believe you were surveying the area from the top of a building, right? Yeah. From what I saw, Nairo and the Shadow Souls are still out in force. Although they've both calmed down a bit now. Probably because they didn't catch you or Miss Fumizuki. Gon, wasn't it? Please call me Rui. Oh, uh, okay. Sure thing, Rui. <laughs> to follow that up, both parties have sent considerable reinforcements into town. Huh? How'd you find that out, Sara? My maid students are sending me updates from all over Akihabara as we speak. Man, I thought Intel was my job. Oh, I'll swear to Gone. I didn't really do anything either. Business as usual for us freedom fighters. <laughs> wow, I can see why you guys are all friends. Are we sure they're reliable? That's rude of you, Suzu. May I continue? Although both parties have curbed their aggressions, they continue to patrol the streets. There have been multiple skirmishes where the two parties have met. Neither of them plan on leaving anytime soon. And the streets are tense, to say the least. Also, the internet's on fire! Everyone's yelling at the cops for not doing anything. It must be Nairo holding them back. They may not be what they say, but they are well connected. Well connected or not, the media will sniff it all out before long. Nairo has to know that, so they'll want to end it quickly. Tonight. No, not tonight. No sunlight. 
first light, then. Before the crowds come out. Which gives us a bit of time, but not much. The question is, how are they planning to settle it? Are we talking all-out war, or what? We need to find out more. If we understood their motives, we could predict their moves. Hmm. Uh... So, what does Nile want? As far as I can see at the station, they want Mother Soul and Rui. Even if I'm wrong, it's definitely not for Japan or humanity. Who are these Nairo guys, anyway? I don't think they're the good guys anymore. They haven't always gone by that name. But they've been chasing our people for decades. We don't know why they want Mother Soul or what they plan to do with her. But we do know they came after us hard right after the shut-in project started. That's when they changed their name to Nairo. But one thing that didn't change was the person in charge. Mr. Sejima, wasn't it? Their tactics have changed to match ours. They used to be a lot more aggressive. They even used guns. They didn't care about the civilians around us. So when they say for Japan and humanity, that's just a slogan. Actually... I don't know if they've come at you harder because of the shut-in project. What do you mean? Well, they just recently learned a bunch of new stripping maneuvers from a certain pro in town. Once she started teaching them, maybe they didn't need to go loud on you guys anymore. That's an interesting take. Our being here for the project meant we were staying in one spot longer than usual. And if they developed an effective attack on us at that scene... Makes sense to me. Here's a practical question. Where's all their money coming from? The travel expenses alone for that many people must pile up pretty high. Pardon me for putting it this way, but who'd be willing to spend that much just to capture two people? Well, what are you saying? Ruby's awesome! Men want her, women want to be her. No amount of money would be too much for her. Suzu, stop. What do you mean by that? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Uh, I'm sorry. Wow. Like a simp, but she mine anyway. So, what do the Shadow Souls want? As in, why did Mother come to town? I don't know. I didn't have a chance to ask her. Let me answer that. What my sister wants is you, Rui. Do the Freedom Fighters know about you? Not yet. I've only told them about the Enlightened. Alright, let's start there. Huh? We can go ahead and talk about it? I thought it was supposed to be top secret. Everyone in this room is an ally now. They deserve to be in the loop. <sighs> okay. I'll explain everything. So, blah, 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 blah. So it's just blah, 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 this or that. We explain how we're in the next month or so and how she's been accepted because of that. We also explain about DPD's blading the Shadow Soul in Akabawa. So wait, she's a princess, and you were just an average dude the other day. That's some H game material right there. My ah! guy! So Rui's mother wants to take her air back. Is that the gist of it? Apparently. Most Shadow Soul relations aren't as close as human ones. My sister sees most of her own children as just subordinates in her organization. But being the next mother soul is different. That's more like a human mother and child. So that's the whole reason she's here? To take her wayward daughter back home? Wayward? You mock me, sir. Sorry. I know how that sounded, but I don't think he's wrong. <laughs> to Ray, my sister. All humans are enemies. Here we have her daughter living out in a city full of humans. She probably hates that. Mother always said humans would betray and hurt me if I ever let myself get close to them. So I never could. Not even for curiosity's sake. Only our kind can be trusted. That's what she always told me. And I hated it every time. Lots happened. To her and all of us. So either way, R Rui's the main target. Okay, we know what the Shadow Souls want. More or less. But Nairo's still a pretty blank slate. Regardless of their motives, I think the bigger question is what we ought to do next. I doubt we can stay here forever. I'm sorry. We're the ones causing all this trouble. <sighs> hmm. Don't worry about it. I really am sorry. And thank you. Hmm. Nairo versus the Shadow Souls versus us. I don't think I'd lay money on us in that fight. Even if I gathered my students. We wouldn't be a match for them. If only I could harness the power of my imagination. I could conquer the world. Master Nobu. Sorry. We could just lay low until the whole thing boils over? Yeah, that'll happen. Nairo has a chance to get everything they want all at once here. Same with the Shadow Souls, since all of Nairo's gathered here too. They both want to finish it once and for all. Yeah, you're probably right. Suzu has a point. In theory, my mother and the agents might simply destroy one another. Do you think that's likely? Even if that does happen, though, what about the town? I mean, they're not using guns. 
but whatever they swing, they're going to hit something. And this ain't farmland. There's civilians all over the place. We're talking about two armies fighting. There's gonna be collateral damage. Hmm, this is hard. Normally I'd say we freedom fighters can't sit idly by. This time, it's gonna look bad, that's for sure. This town's had enough bad press already. Yes, any more would be unacceptable. I got nothing. Unless we want to skip town and have the Enlightened move somewhere else? No. But either way, we'd have to keep on lying low. But in the meantime, like what could we do? We're just chilling and talking to each other? <laughs> I like this, actually. Shit, we called it. There's people getting hurt out there. No! These people just came here to have a little fun. And now they're caught up in a war. There's rumors popping up all over the internet, trying to figure out what's going on. People are already talking about moving. Or escaping, that's how they're putting it. And tourists are just potential casualties now. This is when they're only skirmishing. Imagine what will happen once they escalate. Even if Nairo can hold back the police and the press, they can't touch the internet. Once this all gets out in full, the town's done for. That's true in real life, too. The people in the town both need us. Well, we know who's responsible. What if we just spill everything we know about both of them and then tell everyone to evacuate? That's a bit... <sighs> I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. No, this isn't just your problem now. If I hadn't wanted to live here, none of this would be happening. But I'm sure Nairo still would have come after you. If I hadn't fallen in love with this city, none of you would have gotten involved. If I truly loved this city, I should have stayed away from it. Now I understand. Oh. Wherever I go, misfortune follows. Had I not been here, had I not imposed upon you, I had thought the differences between us were only skin deep. <sighs> But there's so much more. There's a wall between our kind. <laughs> what should I do now? What I've taken from this town, I can never return. I'm sorry. How could I have been so thoughtless? Really? Now, now, no need to blame yourself. Why don't you rest? You must be tired. I... Don't worry. By the time you wake up, I'm sure things will have gotten better. And the rest will do you some good. All right. Where on the floor? Huh? What's up? Uh, let's get let's gap up if you want. Oh, everyone. Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go for it. All right. We're gonna leave the enlightened out of this for now. This is something we have to do ourselves. Yeah. Can I see with Louie? No. Why not? It looks fine on my side. Standing by. How's it going for you, Nobu? <laughs> That's so good. They think I'm trolling them. Yep, there it is again. Picks or it didn't happen. Picks? Ah, uh, I've got picks. Oh, nice work, Goat. Will that be enough to convince them? Well, it might still be hard to believe. Ordinary pictures may not be enough, and we can't expect them to take our word. If only we'd been recording when Rui was saying all that stuff earlier. Yeah, that might have helped. Uh, that's one of the good idea. We're recording though. Huh? A first class mate always takes notes when her masters are speaking. What? Oh, oh sorry, you're a lifesaver. You can do anything. Rui's explanation is the best evidence we have. Hopefully they'll believe it. Sora, I'm amazed and kind of frightened. I made that up about the first class maid taking notes. It just occurred to me at the time that we might need that recording. I, I'm terribly sorry. I committed an egregious breach of privacy. <laughs> Sarah's flustered. That's a first. <laughs> well, at least it worked out, so no worries. Yeah, what's done is done. So now let's see what happens. Right, fingers crossed. It'll work. Yes, of course. Um, are we going to sleep? Oh, we're just gonna do this now. That's my guess. We sleep just like that? What? <sighs> That's kind of weird. What about a bad flame or something? Suzu, Uncle, Freedom Fighters, and you, thank you all for everything. I'm going now. It might not change anything, but it's better than doing nothing. Bye bye, everyone. I woke up. Oh, 
Did I wake you? Hmm. Hmm. Hold up, honey. Huh? <gasps> nah, I'm gonna say it. What do you mean by that? I'm going to mother's place. I might be able to end this without a fight. Easier said than done, of course, but I'm willing to risk it. Why would I slap her? No! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm getting so close to her. Um, that is. Uh, uh, uh. What are you doing? We're bad for watching this, right? Um, what are you doing? I know why I'm doing what you think I'm doing. I can't hear you. I'm sleeping. That's fake sleeping, buddy. Uh, got it. <sighs> and you too. <laughs> I hear you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. Wow. What am I supposed to do? I love this place. So full of life. So many different people. It feels like a year-round festival. The arcade where we played those games. Even the alley where we first met. It's all so precious to me. I love all of you freedom fighters. I love everyone here. I was a monster to you. And you accepted me. And because of that, you're all in danger now. If only I'd never conceived of the Enlightened. <sighs> if only I'd closed my heart to this place. Then none of this ever would have... No, Boo. Yeah, now's our chance. Cut the crap already! Bone. No, Boo. Close your heart. You can't even do that. Yeah. If you didn't love anything, you would be a monster. What's wrong with falling in love with the things you like? It's like Mr. Yatabe said. People in this town can be selfish sometimes. Yeah. This town is made to give you what you want. We're the same way with the things we love. Well... My love is a little bit different, but you do you. But my dreams yeah. are not so easily granted. My presence here alone is... Come on! People have done worse things in this town than just hang out like you have. Think of all the forbidden lolly... No! No, Boop! Stopping you right there. That's dangerous territory. Oh, they knew! Don't say that word! Really? I thought it was a good example. No! Are we under attack? No. I don't think so. In IT Witch Maria, who voices Maria? Mitsuko Shintani, age 23, with an angelic healing voice that carries pink noise. She graduated from Akihabara's voice acting school and amazed fans. She's the what? messiah for the next generation of voice actors. Sure. But where's she from? She was born in Aomori Prefecture. She left home to move to Tokyo and chase her dream. She was poor, just like Maria Ichia, so she nailed the audition. Perfect, my friend! This is... Um, poor. It was his idea. We're doing this for the town, so we thought we'd bring the town along. Honestly, we just didn't have the numbers to pull it off. But now... We finally finished sorting all the pieces. We heard your story through the door. We were kind of nervous about knocking, so we just kind of waited. You tell them that. Masters and mistresses who love this city. Welcome all. What's going on? Are those people? Oi. I don't know what's going on, but I just did. Hey, aren't you a minor, Yuri? It's already late. You shouldn't be out. Damn! Okay, we got people here. <laughs> Not like I can sit around at a time like this. Besides, you're one to talk. Aren't you a minor too? Oh wait, you just turned 18 this year. My scouter is reacting to that girl over there. <laughs> Weird how there's all these people I know here, but I've never seen them IRL before. Right? Even you and I, we've only ever met like twice. Wasn't Yabe coming too? He's from Gunma. He says he's riding his bike over. Not sure how long that takes. Yeah, sounds like him. Hope he doesn't get hurt rushing over here or anything. Hey, I know where he's coming from. I'd rush here too if I had to. Yeah, same here. I skipped out on a death march to get here. Wait, isn't that Miss Sara over there? Oh, it is her! I was wondering why there were so many maids around. She must have called them all. The dude with the glasses, he runs that junk shop I go to. I heard Freedom Fighters, and I thought it was like a college club. Who would have thought? Wow, there's gonna be a big party or something, isn't there? Quite a turn up, considering the last train's already stopped. That just goes to show how much the people love it here, to be honest. I wasn't expecting anyone besides my students and your colleagues. People can surprise you. This was a great idea. Bring everyone together instead of pushing them away. Shall we begin, Mr. 
Yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name's Rogoro Yatabe of the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Uh, where should I begin? Uh, well, let me try to explain. Go ahead. He's like, We never bring anyone up to speed. I know there are some of you who don't believe me, but it's the truth. Yeah, I'm a little skeptical about some of that. But if it's true, it would explain all the weird stuff happening in town lately. And it goes along with the rumors we've been hearing. And this is Akihabara. Anything can happen here. It's like a dream half the time. Fact. I kind of want it to be true. Some sketchy government agency fighting creatures of the night in the shadows. I gotta say, I can't do this. I can't do this. Now, let me be clear. Akihabara is in unprecedented danger. Two powerful militant organizations are about to collide. If we let this play out, the town we know and love will be changed forever, and not for the better. Oh, oh, well. So to prevent that, we beg you to lend us a helping hand. Let's now have a word from our favorite Shadow Soul and the leader of the Enlightened, Rui Fumizuki! She's cute. Yeah, she is. So that's a Shadow Soul. She looks totally normal. <clears throat> my name is Rui Fumizuki. Damn, people love her already. Just as my friends explained, I, I brought disaster to this town. I'm a monster. This town is so welcoming that I thought there might be room even for someone like me. Room for me to live as one of you. A face in the crowd, enjoying all the town has to offer, as you do. And because of that, I lit the fuse to this crisis. Now you are all in danger. Some of your friends are already hurt, and I wish I could do more about it. All I can do at this moment is apologize. I loved this town. I... I loved the people here. I'm sorry for all the damage my love has done to you. <sighs> Once this ordeal is over, finally over, I will. Hmm. Uh, stop apologizing. Yeah, that's right. Don't worry about a thing. Who cares if she's a monster? Uh, I think it's cool. Yeah, it's a fantasy come true. That's awesome. Everyone's got their own quirks here, right? People come here from other countries all the time. Other races? So what? Um, I'm not human, though. Okay, then I'm the son of a demon king, and I have hidden powers. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got better hidden powers, all sealed away in my right hand. I'm a member of an underground hacker group. I'm a famous voice actress. I voice the lead in a certain anime. Honestly, this is kind of a dream come true for me. Uh, we've drifted off topic. Yes, this is getting a little out of hand. We're pretty much LARPing now, aren't we? Hey, wait. Did I just hear Maria's voice? No, it couldn't be. Um, uh, who cares? You're not the one who put this city in danger. You said you tried to stop the shut-in project. That makes you the good guy, all right? Really? You can do whatever you want, as long as you're cute. What? Stop, but also true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is nice and all, but shouldn't we start planning a strategy or something? The fight's gonna start when the sun comes up, right? Yeah, we gotta hurry. All right, let's begin the Akihabara Defense Strategy Meeting. Woo! Uh, is anyone here, like, military? Or a history buff? Oh, there's someone. This is starting to look like a culture festival. Hey, everyone. We're going into real combat, so try to take it seriously. Uh, yeah. That's Maria's voice again. Is Mitsuko Shintani here or something? They accepted me so easily. Can it truly be? I feel... How should I say? Hmm. Uh... Just don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, it's true, yes. You're fine. You think so? I expected them to blame me and hate me. Honestly, I thought they'd throw rocks. I know you and the Freedom Fighters have been kind. But the whole town, they opened their arms to me. You really think it's weird to be accepted? I suppose. Isn't that why you love this place to begin with? Think about it. Right all along. I was. I was. Well, Miss Rui finally has her optimism back. Would you say your plan is working so far? Nods. Akihabara, this town forgives all and accepts all. No matter who or what you might be. As long as you love this town and share in its spirit, the town will have you. No questions asked. What more needs to be said? Mm, are we done yet? I've been seeing like forever. 
No, we're not. Strategy, I think our only play is to go to Rui's mother. But we don't know where she is at the moment, do we? The last I heard, they tried one hideout, but it wasn't up to Royal. Or so I overheard from the twins. Anyway, I think she's moved somewhere else now. From what we saw yesterday, if there's another battle, she might come out in the open herself. Sooner rather than later, if we're lucky. Which leaves us with one possible move. Right. Assign small squads to scout every corner without engaging until they see her. Then we send in Miss Rui. And I convince her. Do you think you can? Yes, I will. I'll make sure of it. That does seem to be our only chance. We'll cover you the best we can, but, well, most of us can't fight at all, as opposed to Nairo and the Shadow Souls. Yeah, home field advantage or not, I don't like our chances in a straight-up slugfest. If only we had a bit more firepower. Other than me? Did somebody say firepower? Couldn't help but overhear your story just now. We'll be all the protection you need. Well, who the hell are you people? We trained with your companion, and we have a message for him. I love this town. There's no other place where I can hunt such delicious cherries. So if you're standing up for this wonderful place, I'll send my servants to help you. I'd have loved to be there myself, but the arrangement I have with Nairo makes that impossible. Oh, it's the master end. So okay. here they are instead. Now. Strip to your heart's content and make fools out of all of them. So says the master. You serious? We are the servants, also known as the meat slaves. Why? By the master herself, we fight for her dazzling lust. And by her orders, we are here to defend you. Uh -huh. <sighs> Wow. Yeah, these guys are amazing. Amazingly pervy. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Perverts! They're amazing and they're perverts! Hentai! They seem to know you well enough. Does that mean you share their interests? Uh... To be honest, yes. Oh, I... I see. This town is even more accepting than I thought. It seems I still have much to learn. Yeah. The villain to... <laughs> Our firepower taken care of. Yeah, guess so. We'll add them to the scouting squads and send them out at dawn. Let's give it our all, everyone. Guys, we're gonna kick some ass out there. We're just a bunch of regular guys, but all of us together can pull this off, I think. You said it, Goon. No one knows this town like all of us combined. We run around it all day aimlessly for fun. In this fight, that's the ultimate weapon. We've got nothing to fear. Let's our power combine! Why you pause? What's going on? Oh, the chewing. Dog chanting. Dog chanting, yeah! Complete. Do I still get paid though? The hell is this place? Not a bad spot, yeah? Considering I threw it all together when I heard you were coming. Yes, this will do. What the hell are you saying? We picked this spot. Don't listen to him, Mom. Sis and I picked it out. Yes, girls, I understand. Very clearly. <laughs> sure, you picked it. I did all the work. Now, you. I assume you have something to tell us. Yeah, our people have Akiba surrounded. Nairo's got the station locked down. If Rui gets careless and makes a move, she's gonna get dogpied. Then there's no need for concern. Nairo wants her alive just as much as we do, now that they're aware of who she is. Okay, yeah, but... If the agents are still here, then Rui must still be here too. Are you sure, Mom? I am. Nairo, and by that I mean Sejima himself, is after both of us specifically. <laughs> Who cares about some bratty little sis? Hmm. Do remember that if I die, you'll all be taking orders from her. I'd say you should care quite a bit. You're not gonna die, Mom. We're gonna protect you. Yeah, you're gonna live a long, long life. So you'll never have to follow Rui. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> you children are so helpless. Whatever, you three do what you want. I'm just here for that little bitch boyfriend she's got. Woo! <laughs> 
Once I get my hands on him, he's a dead man. Even if Rui brings him in herself. You mean that guy who keeps kicking your ass? He did the same to you. Both of you, at the same time. Yeah. Excuse me, that was... Uh, we dropped our guard. Oh, what? Was he that charming? Fuck your excuses. How old are you? Never ask a girl that question. Stop it. <sighs> when we find him, you will be the first to know. Now stand down. <sighs> Hold it, you. I'm not done lecturing you. None of you have changed a bit. Off topic, Mom. I wanted to ask you something. What is it? About the Shudden Project. Oh. As far as I understand it, the idea was to feed on young people with the most potential, thereby creating gaps in the human workforce, then sending our people in to replace them, and thus gradually taking over society. Yes, you understand. But the agent had a point. That doesn't make sense. It takes too long. Any foreign worker could fill the gap before we do. Indeed. And there's no way you didn't think of that in advance. So there's a whole other purpose to it, isn't there? I wonder. What if I told you I forgot what it was? Mom, you know I'll do anything for you. But it helps if I know why. It's better if you don't, honestly. It's not important. And it would only trouble you to hear it. We're doing this for real, we aren't we? All of it. I knew it. Well... Who can say? I didn't have you spy on Rui to make sure she was loyal. You just wanted to protect her. And the reason you came all the way out here so fast was... Why didn't you ever pick me? Or Mana? Either one of us could have been what you always wanted. So why? I can't answer that for you. Mom. <sighs> Please, Mom. Tell me. Very well. As my heir, she's destined to take my place one day. By patience or violence. It will happen. I knew that would strain my bonds with her. And I didn't want to put that strain on either of you. Then you never loved us the way you love her. We all love you more than she does. And she's still your favorite. That is the nature of our kind. There's nothing for it. I have all the time in the world for you two. For her, our time is fleeting. And therefore more precious. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to work. To get everybody ready to fight before daybreak. Very good. Today we settle accounts and build a new future for our people. Yeah, if by our people you mean Rui. Pitiful girls, sincere, hardworking, and so very jealous. Je if only they could have met. Oh, I skipped. He passed. What would have been the look on his face? <laughs> that man he was the first person to love me. And the strongest <sighs> memories. And book up. The one you talked to Foy? I know who you're talking about, hopefully. We've almost finished locking down Akihabara. Based on our surveillance, we've confirmed that Rui Fumizuki is still within the city limits. The same goes for Mother Soul, Rayana Koji. Looks like they're prepping for a showdown. Same as we are. Finally. Uh, what was that? It's almost too late. Let's not let up until the job's done. Uh, sorry. We're working on the lockdown as fast as we can. I didn't mean that. I was talking about myself. It's been 20 years since I took on this role from my predecessor. All that time, chasing after them. Now it comes to an end. I have a promise to keep. And if this town does... You have evil look, true, though. I hope it does the same for me. Oh, uh, what do you mean? It's nothing. Two men had a sad little dream once. One didn't have the guts to see it through. <sighs> The others taken the serum. Everyone but me. How long have you been working under me? Two years or so, sir. Two years. And with all that talent and combat experience, you still insist you won't ever use the serum yourself. If they know you're human, they won't bother trying to strip you. They'll just switch to lethal force outright. You'll die. I'm very aware of that. But I want to fight these monsters as a human. Besides, I've had private lessons from the master. I've trained harder than anyone else. I'm not trying to criticize you or the others, but to fight monsters by turning into monsters ourselves? That doesn't sit right with me. If we're going to protect Japan and humanity, we should do it with human hands. I'm sorry. Monsters. Sure. All right. We're monsters. Uh... Ageless longevity. Instant healing, superhuman strength and agility. That does sound like a monster. On the other hand, we're a match for them now. Ready to attack at first light. 
Just remember. We take Rei Anakoji and Rui Fumizuki alive. Right? That's right. No excuses. Whoever else dies, we need those two in custody unharmed. Oh, sir. <sighs> sir. Why the special treatment for those two? I understand she's the mother soul. But that makes her the queen of the whole brood. If we leave her alive, she could find a mate and start a whole other line of these monsters. Isn't that too dangerous? I just don't see why we take that risk. Focus on your work, Ms. Mino. This is Nairo's final operation. Yes, sir. So, after the Shadow Souls are gone, what do you plan on doing next? I'm going to make my wish come true. It's been a long time coming. Well, I don't know much about that, but... Is there anything I can do to help? I'd like to keep working with you. There's nothing you can do. So, we'll be done then, I take it. When this job is over, forget all about it. I'll find you your next job. I owe you that much. Thank you very much, sir. Here we are at the end. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm gonna bail. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry, you know.